what are some of the the best moments um to you in this i, I guess it's just like the easiest thing is just well just the whole big action set piece but was was there like specific moments that you that really stood out to you i mean there's that shot with uh john uh when we're introduced to him at the yasaka hotel with that yeah uh, I is it a cherry blossom tree? Yeah. Uh, and I yes. was like, oh, wow, they're doing something here with the cinematography. And it mm. made me realize that they're going to go hard in making these shots look incredible uh, with the lighting, especially the, yeah. the, the lighting in this film. It's harsh. It's especially in the, uh, uh, I, I guess, the German rave scene. Like yeah. it's just bright lights the entire time. It's not soft. Mm. It is hardcore. Uh Hardcore white light. It, it is mm -hmm. very harsh lighting in some scenes, but it's also very sharp lighting in other ones with mm -hmm. contrasting colors the entire time. The, I guess the best moment for me, uh, I have to admit, I really enjoyed that German on the ground fighting scene. Yeah. Uh, I, I enjoyed the over the topness of that character uh, playing poker. Uh, you know, saying that ever right. since the beginning okay. he was, they were losing, and he plays a a, a straight five cards. Uh, and you know, Kane says, well, "Let me guess, five straight." Like, it, it, yeah, it's a fun Royal scene, or something like that. Yeah. And as I as I said, it's <laughs> it's over the top. I yeah. As much as I don't enjoy some of these characters, and I do agree, the Marquis is a bit of a bitch. Uh, and he's a bit of a weak character. If he's over the top a bitch and that's yeah. i don't watch these films for the character development i don't watch these films for the plot points i watch these films for the action yeah. and they are dumb fun and it's so much fun to watch this film mm -hmm. um so for me i guess my favorite moment was that but i also have to admit i think my favorite moment was that opening fight scene in osaka where john akira uh, or, or they all go their separate ways and John's told to kill as many of them as he can. And it's a, yeah. it's a 30 minute fight scene and you get physically tired from watching it. Yeah, yeah. And John gets physically tired from watching it. And, and I think that made me realize that they had found a point in the John Wick series where they could do so much action to make you tired, to show that John is tired. And mm -hmm. it's a perfect wrap up of the series. So for me, I think that is the standout moment that they figured out how to make action scenes tiring so that you feel tired and that John feels tired. And, and again, it all just works so well in that opening moment. So for me, that's the best moment of yeah. John Wick 4 by far. Yeah, uh, it has some incredibly good moments. I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy that like top-down look that they do in, I think it's Berlin, or maybe it's later yeah, on in Paris. That is like, sick. I think it, yeah. no, it's Paris. I and the, it's and Paris the shotgun off. Oh, I forgot the shotgun. That yeah. was so much fun. The fire shotgun. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, That was that's also really good. Well. There was really a lot of like showcases, and I mean, the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, or is it? No. I think it's Arc de Triomphe where they like go around uh, in the circle thing, the big uh, six laned. Um, what is it called? Uh, uh, roundabout roundabout um, yeah and uh I, I like the first part when they're in the car at, at the start of it where he like loses both of the doors to the car and like crashes them uh with the people like he doesn't have a gun or he needs to reload and the other one's like reloading and he has to crash into mm. them there's a lot of great um stunt coordination there and then the fight uh I, I think gets a bit messy in a sense of like the cars just keep going and it's basically another like deus ex machina thing of like people just get run over but i like in this series yeah. that john also gets run over it's not just the enemies he continuously like in two and three as well gets like hit by cars i think um and yeah. uh yeah it's just a really strong i felt outing. i felt that the start of that scene with the car was a bit of an homage to the first film regarding a car and i felt like uh, that's the that's the beginning of his like final triumph into the fight yeah uh with i think kind the best, of going like, back through yeah the previous films i think the, the start of the second one is where he's in the car he gets his car back right um and yeah. there, there's this one scene where he's like crashed into and then the, the door he has broken off and he like 
is the stunt is crazy how like he gets fl uh, flinged out of the car he just like mm. gets pushed out um i was waiting for like a similar moment in this but i guess uh, i guess it didn't do it it's on a smaller scale i, I prefer that like scene in two over this in four but it's just on a completely different level again and then i think that the lighting in the osaka showroom that they like you establish the scene early on where they walk through it and you get to appreciate the production design and then they return to it to just completely destroy it. I think that's not, like, it's not a highlight for all of the different branches in filmmaking. Like, the art direction, mm. the production design gets to shine here. Uh, you get a lot of, like, great um, stunts, obviously, and the cinematography is, is highlighted. I feel like everyone gets to shine 